wanted to talk about the NARS Larger Than Life Lip Gloss in the Anise Foles. So it comes in a little box like this. The regular size NARS lip gloss. It's part of the High Seas collection. And it is, they say, according to NARS, a sheer violet. So I have it on my lips. I have very pigmented lips. So uh, this is what it looks like. And I have outdoor swatches. It's this kind of a color. It doesn't really stay as a swatch on my hand. Let me try to put a little. It's not going to show up very well because it's so light. So it's right there. It's like this glimmering, glistening, sheer violet. It's got a little bit of a pink undertone. Um, it's a thick gloss, a little bit gloppy. I like NARS glosses. I don't buy a lot of glosses, um, but I like this color. First of all, orchid, like right, it's the color of the year, which was nice, but it's not too dark an orchid. It's just a very semi sheer, kind of pinky violet shade. That's what orchid is, right? It's a little bit more pink than just purple. Uh, it's pretty pretty long wearing it's high shine on me this will actually last about an hour and a half which is the best I personally can expect from lip gloss just not someone who can make lip colors last that well and lip gloss is particularly hard my hair occasionally does get caught in it uh, this is what the brush looks like so it's, it's a brush it's not like a sponge thing and it has a slightly creamy finish to it so if you see me wipe away a little corner of it you can see that it does basically just add a slight color to my lips it doesn't add a lot of color I liked this particular shade because I think it's a very unusual shade and I think it's a very wearable shade in that I like wearing purples and a lot of the purple lip glosses I find are a little bit too purple, a little bit too much, a little too artificial looking. This one will add just a slight purplish tint that'll match kind of whatever makeup I have on and so I have the uh, Kawaii eyeshadow duo. It's got that purple to it and I find colors like this lips can be incredibly difficult to match so by adding a gloss like this I can use like a nude lipstick or I could just use the gloss by itself, a nude lip liner and I can have a, a lip that's got the slight tint I need but doesn't look way too purple and I just I don't like purple shades on me at all although I like purple with my eyes I just don't like something that's too purple on my lips it just looks terrible the color does apply very evenly it wears beautifully uh, I don't mind kind of this like slight sticky texture I find that a lip gloss that's too thin just doesn't wear all that well and uh, when I was actually at the store I was trying this on the salesperson there told me that this was like their favorite item in the whole collection and I thought that was odd because the high seas collection has these beautiful vivid colors in them and here was this light shade that everyone said that they just adored and I actually do adore it as well so I think that's it if you have the shade or comments I would love to hear it it has no glitter in it which was the other thing I should have pointed out no glitter at all so it's a glistening gloss, but it doesn't have any shimmer from little specks of glitter or anything along those lines. And since a lot of the rest of the collection is glittery, I like the fact that this has absolutely no glitter in it whatsoever. Um, please subscribe on YouTube if you have comments for other videos. I would love to hear it. And I think that is it. To sum it up, if you're looking for bold color, this isn't going to get you there. This is going to slightly change whatever natural lip color you have, but adding that slightly purplish orchid tint but not too much purple and it is a very long wearing glistening but not shimmery gloss so I really like it. Thanks.